Hey everyone, I'm Joyce. Uh, welcome to my video diary. Uh, it's apparently been <laughs> several months. What was it? Uh, I was just looking at them. February 17th was my last video diary entry. <laughs> so I apologize for the lighting. I just finished my dinner. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Hi Friday. And I'm just... I'm sitting on the couch <laughs> and the lighting is not great in here. Anyway, um, welcome to my video diary. I know I said that. Yeah, I just, uh, I actually just rewatched some of those videos, um, because I was wondering, it's like, well, where did I leave off? And I'm fascinated. Um, oh, I guess I should say, <laughs> what is today? Today is October, so my last entry was February 17th of this year, 2022, and now it's October, oh man, it's Saturday, um, 9th, I believe it's, Oct I believe it's October 9th, <laughs> anyway, it's Saturday, um, so yeah, it's been eight months and I am not depressed. Um, I feel like I'm very motivated. I have a lot of energy. Um, some things have changed. I have changed some things. I did cancel my uh, Saqqara meal subscription um, because of the oil, flour, salt, and sugar. So I have eliminated those things from my diet um, completely because before I started Saqqara, I had, I had mostly, anyway, I do still babble though. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I am now not eating any sugar, sugar, salt, flour, or oils makes it near impossible to eat out. I could probably eat at Subway and get one of their salads, but that's not important right now. So my diet has changed. I have changed my diet. Um, oh, in June, this is, this is related. <laughs> in June, I had my second colonoscopy. I had my first one Three years ago, I was 50. Um, they like you to get a colonoscopy when you're 50. <laughs> anyway, and at that time, they found, I believe it was just one polyp um, in my colon. Because that's where they were. That's where they go for a colonoscopy into your colon. <laughs> Anyway, um, so they had removed a polyp, and I don't know if I was still really out of it afterwards when the doctor came in to talk to me, or if they just hadn't explained it, but it was serious business. Um, and uh, so anyway, because there was a, a polyp, because there was a serious polyp, um, I had to do, they recommended that I do another one, another colonoscopy in three years. Normal is 10 years. So this year, I'm 53. And hi, honey. Hi, Friday. This is Friday, another foster kitten. <laughs> now there are 10. Um, so I had the colonoscopy in June. Found two polyps. Also bad news. Um, they suggested eat more fiber and come back for another one in three years. Well, I, um, I don't remember if I've mentioned that I'm a, a member of Dr. Furman's, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I don't know. It's on his website. <laughs> I signed up to be a member so that I could access um, uh, this service called Ask the Doctor. 
So, I mean, you have a direct line to him or any doctors that he happens to hire to, um, to help him out. Anyway, I'm making, I wanted to make this really short and I'm making it really long. So, um, I have increased my intake of greens. I'm still not doing exactly what he recommends. Um, I have a lot of arguments in my brain about it because I, one of my excuses, I really do think it's an excuse. One of my excuses or reasons is that I am a small person. I, and I, I don't feel like I can eat all, as much as what he recommends. Although he does say in many places, look, everybody's different. Everybody has different energy requirements based on how active they are and, you know, different times of your life and all that. So I, I do think it is just an excuse, me saying that I'm a small person and, oh, I can't figure this out. I can figure it out. Don't remember why I was going into all of that. My diet has changed a bit. I do still have my smoothie every morning. I do still uh, have um, three ounces of green greens in that smoothie. Um, I rotated a lot. Spinach, kale, bok choy, romaine, butter, lettuce, whatever. Whatever they happen to have at the health food store that week goes in my smoothie. Um, so that has changed. Um, I also, I don't remember why I started doing it. I mean, I did notice one of my previous videos, I mentioned the Nappuccino and how the nap part of the Nappuccino <laughs> does not work for me. When I take a nap, it's like one to three hours. And that did not change when I started, when I had caffeine first, I still took a really long nap. Um, I don't remember why I got back into the green tea. Something about the nutritive value, I think. Um, I'm, re I'm really hesitant to do it, though, because of the caffeine. Um, I don't know how much it is compared to coffee, but I took... I have a bad history with caffeine, which sounds really dramatic. Um, I just, I get really wired on caffeine. I mean, I'm yakking right now. Caffeine is, I'm digressing again. Um, okay, so I started adding green tea to my smoothies. And... I'll just get right to the point. The green tea makes a big difference for me. A huge difference. Um, and I'm starting to make peace with... Um, there's nothing wrong with me. But maybe the way I was made, my body... Um, it just... it functions better in ways that I was not expecting. Um, like, like the grains. I mean, the grains really do still knock me out. I think it's m oatmeal absolutely for sure will knock me out. Um, but uh, it could be quinoa too. I do eat quinoa. I don't think that affected me the same way though. Anyway, so the green tea has been huge for me. I think it's a it it's probably less caffeine than coffee. So, it doesn't I don't get wired on it. But when I have I make a large cup. I don't have it with me, but um this I consider a regular old coffee cup. Uh, coffee mug and here let me put this down um, I am so sorry about the lighting <laughs> ambiance right um, the cup I use for um, for making the green tea is about this tall so it probably makes like a cup and a half or 
maybe even two cups. Anyway, when I make my smoothie, I use about, well, I use a cup, 240 grams um, of the green tea. If I'm using pomegranate juice also in the smoothie, then I'm using half a cup of each. Um, and the rest of the green tea I will have afterwards, and I just kind of nurse it throughout the day. That has been a huge difference for me. I just, I have, it, it doesn't really feel like energy to me. I mean, it's not in my body. At least I'm not noticing it in my body. What I'm noticing is I just feel motivated. I just feel motivated to get stuff done. You know, I mean, I don't, I do so I guess maybe it does affect me physically. I mean, I don't feel tired. I'm not sure if I felt tired before, though. Anyway, I am just, I'm motivated to get things done. You know, I feel like I think better with it, too. I think more sensibly. It's like, it's, it's easier for me when I don't feel like something to go to remind myself, yeah, but you're going to feel great when it's done. Or, or I know I don't feel like it, but let's just do it and then it'll be done. It's so much easier for me to do that with myself than when I don't have the green tea because I have done both. Um, since I changed my diet and, and all of that. And when I don't have the green tea, I really struggle to, it's like I have to force myself. And a lot of the times I just don't, I don't bother. I'm not going to force myself. You know, it's like, you know what? I don't feel like it. I don't feel up to it. I'm not doing it, you know? And when I do have the green tea, it's not like I, it's not like this little kid throwing a temper tantrum. I'm not doing it. It's not. I I just I just feel like I'm a sensible adult, <laughs> you know. And and maybe that's what I need. And I'm making my peace with that, you know, because I've had. I've had this idea in my head about caffeine. Besides my history with it, um, probably mostly with coffee milk. I call it coffee milk. That's how I learned it was. A Starbucks Frappuccino, the cold ones, you know, that you, you can get in Walmart now. You don't have to go to Starbucks in the bottle. Um that, when I would have caffeine, it tended to be something like that. Well, for one thing, it's coffee caffeine, which I know is a little different from tea caffeine. Not just in uh, milligrams, but it apparently works a little. That's what I heard. I haven't done research on it. Um, but there's also a lot of sugar in there. And that could have been part of the problem, too, was the sugar. You know, it just, it, sugar is not good for me. It is not good for me. Um, at least not taken out of whatever it came in. Um, I do still get sugar during the day in the dates in my smoothie, the banana in my smoothie, any of the other fruits in my smoothie. Um, but it's different, you know. It's coming directly from the source. Again, I don't know all of it scientifically. The green tea has really helped me with my motivation. Now, it's getting cold again. It's October. Um, it's getting to, like, I think right now it's it's down around the 30s at night, the past couple days. And during the day, um, maybe around 60s. So I'm starting to layer again with my clothes, and that helps. Um, helps keep me warm because I, I don't function well when I'm cold either. I get that, that tends to make me crabby <laughs> or depressed when I'm cold. Um, 
so this will be interesting going into winter um, with the this newest way that I'm eating and the green tea and already knowing that that has made a huge difference for me. So it will be interesting going into the winter to see if that continues or maybe I really do have seasonal affective disorder. We'll find out. We'll find out. Um, I have not been walking on the treadmill. I'm kind of recapping. Um, am I recapping? Am I? Uh, I'm updating. <laughs> I'm updating where I left off. So I have not been walking on the treadmill. Um, I'm going to turn the phone around. Maybe you can see this. I don't know. I'm not going with the phone, so I won't know this until later. Um, this is nothing new. That's my big clutter mess. Um, I brought the couch over here and I moved the treadmill and the teeter, um, to where it is now because, and I'm not going to turn the phone the other way because I'm absolutely sure you won't be able to see anything over there. But, um, anyway, I did some rearranging. What's my point? The treadmill is kind of blocked right now because of my clutter. I have not been using the treadmill. I did start walking the whole driveway, um, the whole quarter mile every morning. Um, that's relatively recent, maybe two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago in September. It was September. So I have been walking half a mile every morning. I am getting up a little bit earlier. I'm not staying up as late as I was. Um, tends to be like around midnight, around the latest usually. But I, I have been getting to bed a little bit sooner. So it is earlier in the day when I'm walking. I mean, it is earlier in the day when I'm walking the, the driveway. So I'm getting the sunshine. I'm getting um, the exercise because it does start uphill. Um, and it's a brisk walk. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I don't know why I don't call it consider it exercise, but, um, I do remember in previous video, what am I at? I'm at 18 minutes. This is not a short minute, short video guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if you've, if you've actually watched any of my previous videos, you already know this about me. So, um, I am holding my phone. You know what? Maybe I can set it down. I think I've tried this before and it didn't work. But let me let me try it now. I guess it's okay. I'll sit up. Um So Yeah, in uh in one of my February videos, I was talking about uh my tendonitis. It was diagnosed as tendonitis in my elbow. It's doing amazing now. Um, and it has been, I think that started October of last year. October of 2021 is when I started having problems. I believe what happened, at least part of what happened, was I overextended my arm picking up a piece of firewood. And so I had my arm all the way out when I picked up the firewood and it's just don't do that <laughs> okay just don't do that um anyway so I mean it, it has really been a process it has taken quite a while I mean I was seeing the massage therapist um I started doing taping, and I'm not going to get into all of that because I'm already making this a long video. Um, taping on the arm, 
Um, I had considered doing acupuncture, but I did not. My chiropractor has been working on it. Um, I was doing some stretches. Um, some of the stretches made it worse. Um, anyway, I just, I finally, there was a day where I just, it just seemed like, Oh my God, this is, this is remarkably better today. Um, so I decided to start exercising. Um, I'm, I mean, just with my arms, exercising my arms. Um, and I won't go into what those exercises are. So I don't make this hugely long. I'm, um, anyway, so I have been exercising my arms um, for two months, I think, excuse me, the, f so for the first month I was doing just body weight, no weights, no nothing, just moving my arms. So, okay, I will show you. So one of the exercises, I, I guess it's called an overhead dumbbell press when you're using dumbbells, but anyway, I just, uh, just pushing up. That's it. So I was doing the exercises like this, and um, and that's just one of the exercises and stretching. Um, and it's it seemed to to help a little bit. I don't know. I just I wanted to start doing some strengthening. Um, and then I started thinking, well, I don't know. It kind of seems like it's aggravating it. So I started doing them. I believe it's in this context, it's pronounced eccentric. So eccentric, in this case, I'm not going to explain what eccentric is. But in this case, the eccentric exercise is would be up. And then I will hold for a count of two and then bring down. To a count of 10. This is the eccentric part of the exercise. So before I was doing 10 of these and now I'm doing 10 of this. And that I've noticed is making a big difference. Um, and I'm doing that style the eccentric movement for the other exercise I'm doing also. I'm just doing two. Um, oh, because not not only the tendonitis, but it just, it drug on so long that, you know, my body was compensating and I started having trouble with my deltoid. Um, anyway, so I did that for a month and then now I see my I see the chiropractor every four weeks. So I figured every time I see the chiropractor, I'm going to add some weight and see what happens. Um, so this time, so right now I'm just on one pound. So now I'm, do, I'm using um, their, uh, I think their ankle weights, but I put them around my wrists. Um, I don't have any one pound dumbbells. And so I'm using one pound with my exercises. And... The past couple days, and it's been, Tuesday will be a month that I've been using one pound. Um, just the past couple days, it seems like, uh, let me think, is it my elbow or is it my adultoid? Actually, this elbow, the opposite, has been kind of aggravated. So I don't know what that would be. I don't know if that's the exercises or if it's something else I've been doing. I'm not going to think about it on camera. Um, so this Tuesday, today's Saturday, Tuesday, I see the chiropractor again. Um, then I will start going up to two pounds. And I do have two pound dumbbells. So I will be adding the two pound dumbbells. I'm still going to use the eccentric um, exercises. Um, I just... It seems to be working better. Um, it's more strengthening or something. Um, so I guess that's the update on that. Hi, Friday. What else was I addressing? 
I don't remember, so I'm going to cut this video now. <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay, so who knows? Maybe it'll be another, uh, what was it, February? Maybe it'll be another eight months before I make a, make a video diary entry. Um, I'm going to say goodnight. And um, anyway, I'll update you when I update you. I, I really am interested in seeing what happens this winter with my motivation and my mood. I actually, okay, I have to say, I have been making progress with the house. I know I showed you the clutter. You might not have been able to see it, and I apologize. Um, I have been making progress with this because I've been motivated. So, okay, I'm going to close with that. Talk to you guys later. Good night.